And then that guy said, who said, check my CCTV cameras. He goes, Aaron, who are you going to test? Who am I going to test? What does that mean? They always talk so weird. They always talk in these weird riddles. Yeah, they try to be all like weird and like cryptic. Like, doesn't who just am I gonna test? fucking goofy. Excuse my language. No, I mean, my year old girlfriend I'm a pretty good dude. Like, she's, um, take care of people before they even, like, you know, I, I don't know. It's just, uh, Everybody, that's LMG Savages. Keep an eye on that account for me. Um, I want to know who he follows, what he does. Aaron, I'm not against you, bro. I didn't mean it like that. Well, you kept saying the same damn thing over and over and over. Someone said these guys are psychos. No, we're psychologists. There's a difference. <laughs> did, they, did they really say it? I didn't get – you probably got that comment before me. Yeah, I don't know. Just, all I seen was these guys are psychos. What's www.pureblanco.com? Get that narco gear. What's narco gear? I don't understand none of this weird shit that these people be talking about. Man. I said check CCTV to try and help you. Literally, dude. I don't need to check it. I, it's because there the these whoever's a part of this is not going to show their face one two if you're going to come up to my cameras you're going to be covered up and you're not going to show your face i already had that like, two years ago I, I had a bunch of youtubers rip off my camera and blow a kiss in the, the camera and so i remember that foolishness remember that yeah pure foolishness man www.perksondeck.com Get the fuck out of here. Man. Get out of here, bro. It just don't stop. Man. Get out of here. Live your own lives, man. Uh, Brian said, I'm going to need that package and I'll handle it. Okay. Well, it's got his name on it. Um, he doesn't care. He doesn't care. Like this shit, that ain't cool. No, <laughs> not even a little. Someone said Aaron is smarter than most professionals. I've seen his brain. He's on another level. He's so smart. I'm not. I mean, this is why I fuck with Andrew Scotian Savage is because intellectually we are on the same level. Um, there's things that I know a little bit different than him, and there's things that he knows that are a little bit different than me. Um, he is my brother. He is somebody who will tell him. Somebody said probably a fake address. No, it says William Witt with the address just from Amazon, right? They don't show the address from other people, right? Right. But it says from William Witt. Anything that Can goes someone... through the mail, like I guess they don't realize that anything that goes through the mail and is done like this is considered a federal offense. It's it, it's federal. Like, do you guys realize what you're doing? No, clearly not. People like, get so lost Brian, in this Brian, internet, bro. We're not gonna, we're not gonna dox his address. We're not gonna give it out. We know where he lives, and so do the cops, and so does his detective working on the case. Okay. No, isn't that Gamble's name? Yes, it's Gamble's name, William Witt. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a serial killer name. Someone said. Can can someone send that to you, like with his name on it, or is it from Amazon? Like it's from his account. It's from Amazon, probably from his account. And then he sent a letter where he's like, fuck you, officer, because he knew that I'll call. The feds are going to arrest this guy for sure and anyone who was following him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Someone said, what was in the package just got here? A bunch of bullshit. He says, no, yeah. I'm not. I just know where he is. 
No, we know where he is. Yeah, but it's time to get restraining orders. It's time to um, to everybody who's been a victim of this man to stop this because I'm not going to go around and be waving my guns and shit and be like, you can't get it, move up. You know what time it is. You know what fucking time it is. Good so, job. Call me a lumberjack. Big old chopstick. Paul Bunyan. <laughs> <laughs> like, because I have my wife and my baby boy over there. That's right. And your only job is to protect them. That's my only care and job in life is to protect them. Mm -hmm. By any and means I necessary. I will do so. That's like. By any means necessary. Just like Malcolm. By any means necessary. Call me fucking G.I. Joe, bitch. <laughs> Call me G.I. Joe. L.A. Clippers. Call me G.I. Joe. 226s. <laughs> Call me G.I. Joe. T. Bite your ass. I have every right to protect my home, my family, and if someone breaks in or does anything. You guys have also given me enough information to where I can easily renew my concealed weapons permit. <laughs> I got 40 Glock on me everywhere I go. Uh, I'm, you ain't gonna catch me slip. I, like, why? Like, what the fuck? You treat guys are, uh, like, really? Someone said, don't get yourself in trouble. That's my God. I've given right. Get you know? yourself in trouble. Trouble for what, man? But I have safes. I have everything right. I'm not like waving guns around. Oh my God. Oh my God. The police have been to your house so many times, bro. And I've seen them like check your, you know what I mean? They don't even look at you. They just pass right by them. They're like, you're allowed to have these. This is your right. Correct. So anybody exactly. that's acting weird about that. The police are always at his house, and they know exactly what's going on with his weapons, and it is his right. And I never, I don't wish harm on anybody in this world. Of anybody. course not. Of course I don't not. wish harm of on anybody. Not. I'm the kind of guy that would give the shirt off on my back for, for a Cold homeless facts. man that was getting rained on. Cold facts. I've seen it. I'm, I, I don't wish any harm. And so anybody that goes out of their way to do this, it's, it's puzzling. And uh, it's it's a weird world that we live in. And, mm -hmm. you know, I'm not going to sit here and be reckless or uh, I, I don't know. Uh, today, I'm just a little bit in shock. <laughs> Yo, I know this is a weird question, but what kind of bird was it? A dove. Are you serious? Yep. Yeah, that's some satanic shit, man. Yep, it was a dove. And you know that somebody went out of their way for that because, bro, doves don't just be around like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, doves don't just be hanging out, like, on your front lawn just chilling. Like, you don't see them shits a lot, you know what I mean? Someone just said, was there another box? Why does that have an implication like they already know there is one? Yeah, that's an odd question. Um, no, there isn't another box as far as I know. But that's enough information for me. Probably at this, got your name on it. It's a federal crime. You know, like, this person clearly wants himself and anybody else to, to be put in jail. Someone says, actually, not true. Lancaster Police Department laughs at him. My cousin is an officer there. No one is on your side. We just letting you act a fool in collecting the evidence. 
But look at what the. Do you uh, mean, what do you mean? We, we. You said your cousin works there, but now all of a sudden it's we are collecting evidence. Like, shut up, man. Like, these people need to go away, man. They probably see their cousin like once a year, and their cousin was probably like, "Hey, I went to Aaron Carter's house once," and then they run around with this story. Like, come on, man. Yeah, and and look at the profile picture, fucking uh, uh, satanic cult looking. Yeah, bro, they're on that shit, man. But guess what? They can't harm. Like, here's the thing, bro. They're only working against themselves. Like, what you guys don't realize, whatever energy you're putting out into the universe is coming right back at you. So while you're trying to fuck with Aaron, be sure that there's people out there trying to fuck with you. And guess what? You're going to be on the wrong end of it because you started that fucking shitty energy. So it's like you're only harming yourself. Aaron's good. Aaron's got all of his guns. He's got his kids. He's got his wife. He's got every, everything's good with him. So you're only harming yourself. Oh, someone you just said a dove. Up. Listen to this. A dove, it's a reference to the singer Prince. When doves cry. That's why I was asking you the, those questions. Like, I wanted to know that shit. Because different birds have different symbolisms. You know what I'm saying? I think Kit and Maria just kind of figured it out. A dove, question mark. It is a reference to the singer Prince. Please stay safe, Aaron. Okay. Aaron will be safe. Aaron is blessed. Trust me. Yeah, they're step just screwing five, right? themselves. Step five, right? right? <laughs> That's right. And I think Gamble has become so obsessed that he's lost track of reality and he doesn't realize the consequences of his actions anymore. I think when he started, it wasn't this crazy, but I think like it's literally the obsession has grown so intense in his mind that he has literally hit a point where he does not care what happens to him, what consequences are behind his acts. He is just filled with the emotion of trying to get some sort of vengeance because his girlfriend liked you way back in the day. And from what I gather, that was the genesis of this whole thing is like, you, you know, his girlfriend liked you or something and, and he got jealous. Like, was that not the genesis of this shit? Someone said, Aaron, my partner said killing a dove is declaration of war, apparently. Yeah, there's a lot of symbolism behind that. Yeah, yeah, of course there is. Of course there is. And, you know, I'm not going to go and, like, start showing that on my Instagram and stuff. That's very vulgar, and I'm waiting for the police to get here and document the evidence. Now they got his name on a thing of duster when I've already, I already filed a police report for this once before. It, it was a dove. Yes, it was a dove. Yeah. And that's pretty sad because, you know, Christmas, right before I met my fiance, Christmas, I spent alone. And and I was YouTubing. Um, I was YouTubing two doves keeping themselves warm together. <laughs> that's all I was filming. I don't know if you saw that, bro, but I was filming like two doves that I was like, oh, this is precious. A dove symbolizes death, loss, and failure. This per this, this. Uh, um, that's 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 fucking wrong as fuck. That's the most wrong assessment of the symbolism of a dove I've ever heard in my life. That's completely false, man. A dove has nothing to do with that. That representation of anything that that person just said. Dove represents also, godliness. Man. Yeah, no, I I I completely agree. Someone said a doves symbolize peace. A dead dove might mean the peace has been broken. Nightingales symbolize love and beauty, though. They're singing. Many birds symbolize people. Found this on Google. Nelly says, I would get a restraining order. That that won't stop him. That won't, that won't stop him. It makes him like accountable that if he does reach out to you, there can be like immediate action. You know what I'm saying? But I know right, you got but that. That's not how he works. He has, he's on video saying... I specialize in training people on how to, to ruin everything in Aaron's life. There's a video of him saying that. So what do the police say when you bring these things to the police? Like, what's their response? Um, 
that it's being handed is just documented evidence. I'm not gonna like, it's just, they, they're not, um, well, someone can't harass they're not you, dismissing like, it anymore. At first they were like, you know, starting to get annoyed and all that. And then now they're starting to realize, oh, well, this actually is, now I've got his name on the box here with this can of duster, which will remain unopened. It's not even, po it's pointless for them to even try to fingerprint it because it won't work. Um, all these people call the cops and animal control on me. Well, why don't you guys call the cops and report this stuff, huh? If you're real, like, real fans of me, why are you sitting here watching it happen? 